Hi, I'm Paul at The Verge. I'm here in Queens at the Museum of the Moving Image. I'm gonna meet Masi Oka from Heroes. He was Hero in Heroes, which should give you a clue about how awesome he was in that show. And uh, he's basically the best human being on the planet Earth. So, just no, no big deal. So you worked at ILM yes. back in, you, that was before Heroes, right? That was before Heroes. How long were you with ILM? Uh, well, I would say probably good 10 years, maybe? Okay, you were involved with like, uh, during the prequels. When I was, they were I was the involved in the prequels as well, yeah. That's cool, what, what, what software were you making for them then? Well, you know, our main, our main platform was Maya, so I wrote a lot of Maya plugins. You know, a specific example might be like where Boba Fett chases uh, in the asteroid sequence. Uh -huh. So we, we, basically the production said, hey, we need to be able to destroy this asteroid in a million pieces, but we want to be able to control which way everything goes. Okay. You know, because an animator needs to be able to have all that fine control. And when, okay. you know, when in, in ILM, when in visual effects, you want to be able to do it so that it's visually accurate, mm -hmm. but ne not necessarily physically accurate. It has to be okay. physically accurate enough. So there's a lot of communication back and forth where they want to make something look, and you just have to enable yeah. them. I remember one shot where we had to do breast enhancements. Literally. Really? Yeah, so it's like there was a, a shot of a breast and the director wanted it bigger, so we had to like wow. digitally enhance that. That sounds so. like really hard work. Yeah. It's and you, and then you, right after ILM, yeah. you got the job with Heroes. That's like why you left, right? Well, actually what it started was, I went to, San Francisco was their headquarters, mm -hmm. so I was there and I finished my first big uh, show there on Perfect Storm. I was on there like two or three years. Okay. And I said, you know, I loved working here. I could, I'm a lifer. I, I could stay here. So that meant that was a sign for me to leave. So I came down to LA and, you know, I ran out of money very quickly. Right. So I was like, oh shit, you know, I gotta do something um, about my financial situation. But then right. ILM said, you know what? If you're gonna look for a job elsewhere, why don't you just stay working for us? You could telecommute for us in LA. Wow. So that was that was very nice of them. And then, but I had to sign up this contract saying if I didn't get a recurring role on a pilot or a supporting role in a film in my first year in LA, mm. I would have to move back up to San Francisco. I feel like Heroes was this realization that you could do movie level effects now on a TV show. And was that a pretty big leap forward? But I actually think, you know, before that, you know, Lost did a great job of making, come, bringing something cinematic. Okay. You know, especially when you tell a serialized show, you know, it goes that. But with that always comes budget, you know. I think right. now if we did Heroes, you know, we could do it on a, a, cheap, a slightly cheaper budget and it could get, you know, it's going to get better and better. Did you have any of these growing up? I actually didn't have a lot of the figures, you know. I had, uh, I, the only one I had was that dude with the cape. I don't even know his oh, name. Man. It's great because there's all these fans of that mm. world, you know, and and to have people who are so passionate about it. You know, yeah. But it's also, you know, it's it's upon the filmmakers, you know, my former boss, George, you know, he, you know, he needs to take care of that fan. You know? yeah. These days, it's getting to a point that I feel like he's milking every cent yeah. possible, which yeah. is, uh, yeah, I get it. It's a business, you know. Right. And, you know, he's he was a great creator when he created the the first Star Wars. You know, he, he created something revolutionary. If you see the original original Star Wars, yeah. there's a lot of interesting mistakes. He he saw all these mistakes when he when he first created. Right. So he had ILM do an entire pass at the movie right. and makes little changes. So were you there at the time? Yeah, I was there. Like there were those projects, and like just like simple things like putting their badges here to here. You know, there's a, actually a fan project to restore the original cuts. Because <laughs> you can't buy in high definition yeah. the original cuts of the movie. So they're like, they're trying to undo you. They're reverse engineering your work. Well, <laughs> I think it's, you know, it's, there's a reason why it was a classic of that. You know, yeah. I think you need to embrace the mistakes as well. Mm. You know, there's always going to be mistakes. Even this shoot right now, like I was wearing a watch. <laughs> and I'm yeah. not wearing now a watch. Not, exactly. Everybody's going to freak out. Yeah. Do you have action figures of yourself? Were you those made? My action figure was like really, you know, loosely made, so the head would always come off. Oh. So it was like, oh. That's kind of a, like a diss. That's yeah, a little that's like, bit oh, of a... Man. I have a confession. I saw the first two se yeah. the first two seasons, and then I, I saw the first episode of the third, and I just, I walked away. I totally understand. Are you I think, okay with that? Yeah, I think so. I think the first season of that show mm -hmm. was absolutely brilliant. So even, you know, as a fan myself, I was a fan of the show. Yeah. We were that's so cool. proud and you know, everybody around the world, you know, it was a phenomenon. Without yeah. a doubt, I'm very proud of the work we did in the first season. Do you, do you think there's something to that where you get a backlash, like with Star Wars, because 
the first season or the first movie was so good and fans just expect yeah. that greatness throughout and they get mad when that's not met. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a little bit difficult, you know, but at the same time, that's our job, you know. Yeah. I think you need to take a bold you know, choice, make a bold mm -hmm. choice and uh, see if it, and sometimes it works and sometimes it mm -hmm. didn't. So you play emulated games? I play emulated games, yeah, absolutely. I spent so much quarters on like Gauntlet, so I kind of like go back and play Oh, Gauntlet. <laughs> dude, I played some Gauntlet. That thing is designed it's, to I, make I, so much money. I didn't realize that, but I was like, wow, that's it's a like... money charm. <laughs> oh, that's a juju. I love the... Start other players. Yeah. yeah. Where do you see yourself going? You want to direct? Uh, yeah, I think ultimately I, I love to direct. You know, okay. I love the collaborative nature of behind the scenes. I also like being in front of the camera. So I think direct, directing seems to be a natural kind of way of culminating all the experiences that I've had. Mm -hmm. you know? So you've got sort of all angles of the craft. I try it. You, you think you have a blind spot? You got to you Oh, I, I have so many blind spots. I, you know, I, this life. This is a continuing education. You know, yeah. like you could always be learning. I'm, I'm, I could be like nine years old and I could still be learning stuff. You know? Yeah. And that's what's kind of fun. I enjoy knowledge. I, I create new stuff. I love exploration and it's you know it's constant learning something new every day, which is great. That's cool. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you.